G'day guys, how's it going? The Bont4 here, and sorry it's been about two weeks, but my views have been down very low lately, and yeah, so if you see this channel and have friends that do know my TikTok and aren't subscribed to my YouTube, please tell them to come along and subscribe and watch these videos because they're long detailed videos about this cricket and all stuff like that, footy. But in this video, yeah, I'll be talking about the first test match between Australia and India. It is um, a night test match uh, Thursday in Adla at the Adelaide Oval, so... Yeah, I think most people that watch cricket will be looking forward to this test match. I am um, looking very forward to it. But the big issue is we don't know who the openers are going to be. David Warner goes down second ODI, um, I think it was, with a injury. And it was a very bad injury. Well, not a very bad injury, but a bad enough injury to rule him out of the test first test. I think he'll be back for the second test, so that's really good for the Aussies. But yeah, um, out for the first test. So options are Marcus Harris... Um, he's been in alright form, but, um, I don't know, he's been better than Joe Burns, though. Joe Burns has been absolutely shocking, um, in the Shield, and then the Australia A side has been making zeros and ones and twos. I can't talk, I'm shit, but Joe Burns, yeah, he's been in, been so badly out of form, it's not good. Um, who else is that? I could, I thought about Alex Carey maybe opening the batting, but I don't think... It would suit him, like, because I think Alex Carey, he's an, um, he opens the batting for the strikers in the T20, and I thought, he's been, he's been alright, um, lately, for the Australian ODI side, and, um, Australia A showed that he can bat as well, um, so, yeah, that was something I thought about, but I don't think that will happen, um, could have Matthew Wade opening in the batting, that would be a, um, good thing because he is a talented player, and Cameron Green coming in, so I think Cameron Green's stealing Matthew Wade's spot. So, um, yeah, if we want Matthew Wade to stay in the side, we might have to open him with, I don't know who, Kawaja he could be a chance, but he's um, pretty old as well, so I don't think he'll be batting opening. Um, but I think my openers for the test side will be, number one will be um, Marcus Harris. He'll sneak in there, um, and then number two... Between, it's really, really tough. It would have been Pekoski, but he um, had a serious head knock and he's had a lot of concussions, so yeah, probably don't want to risk him putting him in. Um, oh, it's so hard. Could put someone in like Sean Marsh, but he's getting old as well. So Marcus Harris, and either Joey Burns. Oh, Joey Burns has been so badly out of form. So I don't know about the openers. Put down who you think should open. I reckon um, Marcus Harris and Matthew Wade should open for the Aussies. It's really, really strange. Warner will be back in next test anyway, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, Marcus Harris and Matthew Wade will be my openers for Australian test side. Also, a big congratulations to Cameron Green. If he is fit enough, he will be playing his first test match against India on Thursday at the Adelaide Oval. So that's a massive, massive um, thing for the young guy. Um, also... Looking forward to seeing Steve Smith and Marnus Labuschagne in action um, going up against Virat Kohli and Pajara. Plus, um, Boomer. He's been out of form. Been out of form, big Boomer. But um, he showed his quality bowler. Bouncing back in the T20. He's picking up some vital wickets against the Aussies. So, I reckon he'll be back um, and better than ever, Boomer. Same with Mitchell Stark. He was pretty poor as well with when he was um, bowling at the ODIs. Um, he improved in the T20s, that one T20. But, yeah, he was pretty poor as well. Hazelwood, he's been very good in the ODIs and T20s, picking up Colic a lot. Um, Nathan Lyon, haven't really seen much of him lately. So, hopefully he does his normal service and yeah, bowls really well. Um, Pat Cummins, he's just been consistent. Not at his complete best, Pat Cummins, but I reckon he'll um, play very well as well. But, yeah, I'm so looking forward to this test match. It's going to be an absolute ripper day night like I said so it's going to be 2 p.m. to about 10 or 11. Um, my predictions for the game is Australia to win not by much India will give us a fair shot I reckon yeah one Australia go up in the series 1-0 um, straight away and I think yeah I don't know um, who's going to win the actual series because it's going to be close it's going to be very close but yeah um, put your comments and predictions in down below I think Steve Smith is due for a big test match um, score because last year, like I said, other than the um, Ashes where he just played extremely well and just taught England a lesson, um, in the Pakistan and... Who else we verse? 
Who we versus? Pakistan and New Zealand. Um, he didn't actually score a century. His high score was 85. But yeah, and Marnus trying to prove a point that he is a um, number three test batter for Australia and just, um, yeah, stay in the number three test, the number three batting spot for the Aussies. That'd be really good if he can prove his point and score a big hundred. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. India are quality. Um, I reckon they're better than New Zealand and Pakistan. So, yeah, Marnus. Um, he shows he shoot he showed he can do it. Sorry, sorry. Um, against England with a quality attack in very struggling conditions, um, scoring good runs. But um, can he do it? Can he do it again? India, like I said, a quality attack. We'll see how it goes. Up the Aussies.